Hello. Um, I'm doing uh, some impressions today. I'm a little bit sick, so my voice is a little bit off, but I'm going to try my best. Um, I apologize if you don't go to O'Day and you don't know anybody that I'm doing. You have no clue what's going on. Um, but I'm just going to start off right now with somebody that everybody should know their, his voice, um, Brother Lejeune. Uh, I remember the first time I saw uh, Bro, I was a freshman, and he was like, hey, uh, hey, Lowry, come over here. So, uh, okay. I thought I was in trouble, and he was like, uh, have you, uh, have you all heard about some new corduroy pillows? Yeah, I'm making headlines all over the country. Uh, well, I'll just pull that one out of my junk book. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Coach E needs some water. Coach E, are you okay? Some water. <laughs> I'm just going to keep telling jokes for brother this year. Um, but, uh, why the lady put lipstick on her forehead? She's trying to make up her mind. <laughs> hey, bro, why don't you come up here for a second? Okay, come up here. <laughs> you know, bro, uh, I really like the, uh, uh, track and fill up, it's great. Oh, jump. Anyway, this lady, she's uh, <laughs> This lady, she's having what I guess you call a bad hair day. Nothing's going right. And so she gets into a fender bender with another driver. And the two of them get out to look at the damage. It turns out the other driver is a, is a dwarf. And he gets out, looks at the damage, looks at her, looks back at the damage, and says to her, I'm not happy. And she says, oh really? Well then which one are you? <laughs> okay, bro, what's going off script here? Okay, that was not the joke that I told you to tell, okay? <laughs> But I'll just go ahead and tell, well, I don't remember the one that you were going to tell, but uh, I think my, my favorite joke is uh, the one about uh, Captain Crunch. You guys heard the one about Captain Crunch? Yeah, he had a death, and, uh, it was full of homicide. I'm looking for the serial killer now. Why don't you go sit down, bro? Next one goes for Mr. Z, Nick Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fix my tie here. The pink one, I'm sorry to one up you there, Sasha. Going with the pink one. Going with the pink one. Good deal. Okay? Gotta do a couple snips here. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we have in Go Z, right? Some catchphrases that we have. Uh, Jimmy. Where's Jimmy? This ain't Dom, Jimmy. Tuck in your shirt. No, he didn't say that specifically to Jimmy, I'm sorry. Let's see. No, um, I was talking, oh, let me just start over there. Uh, we have a kid named Brian Keaton in our class. He's Brian. Brian's in there. Coach E, like, so clever to uh, have little things he says off everybody's name. What, Brian Keaton? Are you keen on learning name, Brian? <laughs> keen on learning? Seth, from Big Queen and Seth. Huge age artist, that's right. Okay. That's right, good deal. Another thing about Coach E is, um, 
big Pennsylvania guy, right, Coach E? And when I was a freshman, um, they won just about every game for football, and every Monday we'd come in. <clears throat> Penn State at a historic weekend. Uh, it's full tradition and uh, it's full plot, okay? Uh, Joe Viterno, the Penn State coach, up there with the greats, probably the greatest person in the world, uh, personally. Up there with MLK, George Washington, those guys, okay? Good deal. Good deal. Anything else? My third one is uh, something Mr. Z should like. He's always, son, have you seen Mr. Payton lately, son? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And I'm a little bit sick, like I said, but I can maybe the look that Mr. Payne always has is. <laughs> and actually talking while I'm trying to talk? Probably not, 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 not a good idea. <laughs> actually, shut up! <laughs> Mr. Kite. You know, Mr. Kite is the librarian here, you know. You know, if you guys ever need books, you know, you know I got a library card. You know, I got a library just about every day, you know. If you want to be a commando, you know, you tell me. You say, Mr. Kite, I want to be a commando. And I will get you whatever books you need, okay? But I feel bad for Mr. Kite because we were a little bit mean to him and uh, I remember when we were going to take a test, and we, we, he'd come in and he's like, you know, guys, we haven't taken a test this year, you know, we need to take some tests. And uh, we had just watched a movie on 1984 to symbolize a traitor. They used this symbol. Traitor. So, everybody would stand up. You know, guys, I would really appreciate if you guys would not call me a traitor. You know? I'm trying to administer a test, you know, it's really <laughs> also, I have uh, Dean Daisy. Oh! I don't know how far this goes. You got, you got a little ways. <laughs> you gotta do the walk up. That's it. That, that's it. I'll put this here. Spanish was for Spanish class. Maybe I was mistaken. 
thank you, though. <laughs> David, why don't you do number five on the board in the math book? No, in the Spanish book, in the math book, in the math book. Not the Spanish book, in the math book. Not the Spanish book, not the Spanish book. Not the Spanish book. Not the Spanish book. Not the Number five on the board. Okay, and it uh, looks like it uh, goes on to equals three zones. Or change next. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, David, uh, her, when you're cracking this equation, no, towards the x axis. If you so much as break the x axis, the world will come to the switch off. And all human life will be destroyed. All human life and all animal life will be destroyed. You will end the world single-handedly. Thank you very much.